toys right here? Weasel's in the bushes, man, telling me to get on the wrong bus. On the wrong bus, on the wrong boat. <laughs> I said the wrong bus. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it too far on a bus right here. All right, man, we're going to do this little day trip. Cold arm. think I'm gonna abide by that rule it's a weird feeling to watch YouTube videos and see this place so many times and then to finally be here like I'm just walking across this little bridge right here and it's like the coolest thing in the world to me that I'm actually here I'd like to see a sunset so I don't I don't know what side of the island we need to be on if it's here or If we're supposed to be on this side or the other side. That was crazy coming over the mountains on their motorbikes. Uh, yeah. That hill was steep. I know one thing. Better watch where you going while you filming. You drop off of there, you're going to be a hurt soul. Man, it's a beautiful day out here. Absolutely gorgeous. This is. I wish I had a drone. If I had a drone, I could get some real good footage for y'all. You know? You be careful. She telling me to be careful. Now that I said that, watch me slip and bust my ass. I should have bought some flip flops because I can tell you right now, I'm about to have sand all in my Nikes. She thought ahead. You know, you got when you get off the boat, I couldn't get any of that footage when I got off the boat because if I tried to take any footage, I probably would have ended up face first in the water because they back the boat up to the shore, but not all the way. So you jump out in the water. So I took my sneakers off and my socks off and then you walking through the sand. And then we got up to the low road, the brick road or whatever. And uh, she was like, you need to put your shoes back on because the bricks is hot. And I started walking and they really weren't hot. And I was like, well, I'll be all right. But then she was like, well, we're probably gonna get on a motorbike taxi to go to the other side of the island. So you still gonna have to put them. I was like, oh, okay. Well, she thought ahead cause she brought baby wipes and some toilet tissue and she it's just Thai people are nice man she she was wiping my feet off and everything like you didn't have to do all that I can, I'm a grown man I can do that myself but it's just how they are I paid for the boat and I paid for the motorbike taxi but then I was I was in the process of paying the motorbike taxi and her and her friend had walked over to a little vendor and when I got over there, she was like, I ordered some watermelon for you. You know, and she, it's just small stuff like that, man. Uh, I've seen from, from people here in Thailand that they, they like to give back, you know, it's, you try to do a little something for them, they do, they do what they can, you know. It was a, a motorbike taxi guy last night. I punched it into the boat app where I wanted to go. I was like, just drop me off at the, uh, Patia City uh, Hospital. Well, I didn't know there was two of them. When we got there, I was like, no, this ain't it, bro. He was like, well, where you, he was like, look, I'm just gonna end the, I'm gonna end your ride right here. 
it was like 50 baht. And he said, I'll take you to the other one. And I was like, well, how much are you gonna charge me to go over there? He said, whatever you wanna give me. And I was like, okay. So just that fact alone, he, he literally took me like up one block and over one block and I was where I needed to be. I could have walked. I didn't realize I was that close, but I gave him a hundred baht just because he was like that cool. He was just like, whatever you want to give me, man. And that's what I mean. Like people are, people are nice over here. I apologize for not remembering which beach the speedboat dropped us off at, but this is the beach that the motorbike taxi took us to. We ordered some lunch, a couple of fruit smoothies, and I had a beer. And then the rest of the day was spent simply relaxing. I stretched out on the lounge chair under the shade of the umbrella and fell asleep to the sound of the waves. Around 4 p.m., we took the boat back to Pattaya. Shorty Cup. Day trip to Cole Arm, folks. Back at Valley Pier. What's going on, y'all? We're gonna take the take the ferry today. It's a little bit slower than taking the speedboat, but it seems to be consensus that everybody wants to. Everybody wants to take the ferry. Uh, I think it's 30 baht per person takes about a half hour if you take a speedboat I think it's like 10 or 15 minute ride but it's about between 250 and 300 bought a person so we're just gonna jump on the ferry we ain't got nothing but time make a day out of it So we, we decided to stay on the busier side. Here, let me I'll walk down here. So this is, as you see, that's where all the speed boats usually come in. A little bit over that way, further. That's where they'll come in, drop people off. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of busy. But we still we got beachfront seating. We'll chill out here. We got a couple more friends that are supposed to show up. They they woke up late. They got on the ferry after we did. <clears throat> so they should be here 20 minutes, 30, 30 minutes, something like that. And that's it, man. We just chill out here. Got a bike to eat a little bit later. The last ferry back to Pataya leaves at 6 p.m. Uh more than likely we'll get on that i haven't decided they have hotels on this island so you can't stay here all night if you want to i just haven't decided if i'm gonna do that yet but uh i kind of take a take a poll basically see who wants to go back if everybody goes back probably end up just going back and maybe catch a bite to eat for dinner once we get back to my day out but... little buddy out here peeing in the pool little dude peeing in the pool what you doing in there babe you cooling off you hunting what you doing Back to it. Back to stuff in my face. Like a fat boy. <laughs> we munching on this big old shrimp right here. Man, they think good. We got half a kilo of them joints. You got half a kilo over there too, didn't you? Oh yeah. He got to have a kilo. I say, who's the fat boy? I'm the fat boy over here. <laughs> he said, what you say, bro? What you talking about being a fat boy? I'm like, I'm the fat boy right here. <laughs> Real recognized, real. <laughs> that's what that's that's always my saying though, bro. I'm a fat boy. I'm a fat boy. <laughs> what are you doing over there, little lady? <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Somebody might. 
buddy. Uh, you feel hungry? Yeah. Well, you got some, you got some shrimp going on over here. Where the fried rice at? You didn't ask. Huh? You ate all the shrimp fried rice? You ate it already? Nah. I'm not eating more popcorn. You're not hungry? I'm not eating more popcorn. Oh, you must be talking about other kind of food. I need something else. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Oh, you fucked up. Kapun Ka. What is that? What is that? Mark, where are you going that fast? <laughs> what do you think, man? Pretty good. We got a little buddy down here. I gave him one. <laughs> Enjoying my life, man. <laughs>